Happy rising, happy hump day. It's Wednesday today. Um, it's about 10.02 in the morning and I'm sitting in the parking lot. I'm at Walmart. I needed to come in and I wanted to pick up some stuff for our upcoming school year. So I'm gonna get some notebooks and if they still have the crayons for really, really cheap, I'm gonna get like a few more boxes of crayons and stuff. I already got some, but I really wanna have like the crayons and color pencils and markers situation situated, especially between the two little ones. Um, they're seven and six, so, um, and first and second grade. And so I know we lose and have a broken crayon issue like quite frequently. So um, I got a few boxes, but I just wanted to get some more right now. Our homeschool year doesn't actually start until September we start the day after Labor Day so I do have a little bit of time but I wanted to pick some things up I think I may run to Sprouts this morning but I'm not sure it's like I'm out so I feel like I just want to have this like productive morning full of errands but I'm also tired of spending money so we'll see what happens here but I'm gonna go ahead and go inside <laughs> understand how 100% of the time I come in this place, I get a shitty basket. 100% of the time. I just came out of Walmart. I spent way too much time in there. <laughs> Um, I got a bunch of little uh, things for the kids, which I'm actually kind of excited about. I was able to get their crayons and all that stuff to add to what I already have. It's a freaking madhouse in there. They're clearing like the school stuff out already because school started today and they're like moving it all to clearance and moving it out of the way. Like there's a lot of shit that's just picked over and looking like a hot mess, but I was able to find the stuff that I needed. And then also too, I had to get some groceries and I didn't plan on doing like a full on grocery trip, but it's like, ugh, there's, I, we all eat different stuff. Like there's so many of us. And so it's just, I'm always trying to, make sure I'm getting enough stuff to make meals, but then on top of that, enough stuff to make snacks. Literally, I can buy like a pack of grapes or like a carton of strawberries, even the extra large ones. And I mean, between the five of us, plus, you know, my parents and stuff, since we're at their house this summer, it's like, there's, there's eight of us. So we eat, and even if one person goes in and grabs four or five strawberries, if three four people eat strawberries all the strawberries are gone already so i'm so tired of spending money on food the lady on my way out she checks my receipt and she goes oh you've got uh, quite a bit of stuff and i says yeah i gotta get school stuff and groceries and she goes you know if we didn't have to eat we'd be rich you're damn right if we didn't have to eat we'd be rich like good grief so anyway needless to say it is after 11 o'clock um i just spent way too much time in there i'm not really sure that i'm gonna go anywhere else i got some stuff in the car that probably needs to get home and get to the refrigerator it's probably too especially because i'll be probably in hobby lobby forever too so I'm just gonna go ahead and go home. I might come back out later, but in the meantime, I gotta go. I gotta go get Preston and Penelope situated and I have stuff to do. All right, you guys, I figured today I'll go ahead and do a haul since I just left Walmart and just show you guys a little bit of what I got. I picked up some stuff for the kids for um, getting our homeschool all organized and situated for our upcoming school year. And then I just picked up a little bit of groceries. It's kind of like a mix of stuff. I did not make a meal plan. I did not make a grocery list. I just went in and picked up a couple of just like things that we typically tend to keep on hand that I know that I can cook with when I need to. So let's open up these bags, unload the groceries. I'll show you guys what I got. I'll put that stuff away. I meant to bring the book in the car with me when I took Samaya to work and I completely forgot the book. I was gonna read it from the car, but 
that didn't really happen, so. All right, so first things first, I got some paper plates. My dad usually picks these up from Costco in like the big, huge size, and we're like literally ripping through their paper plates. So I just picked these up. Hopefully these will hold over for at least a week or so until we get some more. So all the things are out. I picked up some corn dogs. Um, I picked up some pico de gallo. I got some catfish fillets. And I ended up getting frozen ones this time instead of fresh because I was at Walmart. But typically I like to get these fresh. I got some tortillas. We're probably going to have tacos for dinner tonight. Um, some sliced cheese for sandwiches. I got some nectarines. Some cilantro some jalapenos, tomatoes, bell peppers, and some spinach. I picked up some butternut squash, and so I'm not sure tonight if I want to do these as the base for our vegetarian tacos, or if we're just gonna do like black beans, but um, butternut squash. I got tater tots and some veggie stir fry. I like this big bag right here and usually like you guys have seen over the last couple of days, like I have been making bowls like for breakfast. These are really super simple to make like bowls for lunches and then like for myself and Samaya, we'll just eat them like this with the veggies over rice or like over noodles and then with everybody else, of course, then you can just add your chicken or your steak or whatever type of uh, meat option that you want to put in that so that makes that really easy um, I got these vegan tamales and I think I've had these before with the red chili and zucchini um, and they actually taste pretty good I got ground turkey for the tacos some apple juice for the little people um, I picked up this chicken it's like literally clearance out like today is literally the day that it needs to be cooked so I'm probably gonna cook this and then just cut it up and put it in the refrigerator and it can be used to either go in like the stir fry or I can just use it for something else for like another dinner or something. Um, I got some cauliflower style buffalo wings, uh, rotini noodles, I got some red beans and rice, I got some penne pasta, some packs of spaghetti, I got pinto beans, I feel like I want to make some chili at some point even though yes I know it's hot, I know it's summer but I like chili. And then these uh, veggie buffalo wings and some 7-Up. The cost of sodas, the 12 packs and the 24 packs of cans of soda has gotten so beyond ridiculous that this is really like a treat for me because ain't nobody spending 12 and 13 and almost, I think it's like almost $14 for like a case of Coke. I just go to McDonald's and get like a large Coke for a dollar. <laughs> Anyways. All right, I'm gonna put this stuff away. some of the stuff that I got for um, homeschool. So we're just gonna be using a room. We are traveling homeschoolers right now. Um, we were using the living room at the Las Vegas house. Um, and so when we go back, then we'll have more space. But in the meantime, we'll be basically just working out of our some shelves and a couple of drawers and things like that for our homeschool. So I did get this dry erase board so that I can take care of like our morning meetings and then the lessons with the kids. And then let me show you what I got inside this bag. First of all, I picked up some off for Samaya. I don't know if you guys saw her mosquito bites from the vlog the other day, but 
they like really get her so bad and it makes her skin look so crazy. So we don't need anybody thinking she's got no monkey. So I picked up some of these little books from abcmouse.com. I am not going to be using a like actual curriculum for Penelope. I know that last year she was just coming out of kindergarten. We have specific points that I wanna work with her on this school year. And these little booklets that you can get from the store actually do a really good job. They have a lot of really good printables in it. And then I printed a lot of stuff offline um, last school year. So that actually worked for us. And we also used um, some curriculum with Easy Peasy. And so I think I wanna stick to that for her and really put the money where the big kids curriculums are concerned. Also, I have a senior this year, so I need to make sure that I have all of her stuff, um, you know, just so that she still feels special for senior year. But anyways, I got this workbook, um, ages five to eight. So Penelope is gonna pretty much work with this one. Uh, it's got the keywords that they gotta find and then how to find them inside of here. There's these kind of pages that just have like fill in the blank. Um, where you're filling in the words with the stories. There's some writing in here. I actually really like this, um, especially because we did not get into any of this, but Preston's going to second grade. Penelope will be in first, so I think that this can be beneficial and important. So this has got like the seasonal stuff, like what time of year it is. There's all these pages that are really good for teaching them how to tell time. This kindergarten skill builders, math, reading, and writing. Um, and this one has, a, of course, different activities inside of it. And so this is kind of the books that we worked with last year, but Penelope really seems to like these. This is a little bit of a review for her, but I think that when it comes to like sight words and like sounding stuff out, writing and reading, um, the review will be good, especially coming off summer where they haven't been doing a whole, whole lot of anything. And then I got this second grade skill builder, math, reading and writing for Preston. Different stuff for writing, English, and then there's different activities in here where you have fill in the blanks. And then of course, different stuff for math. And he's actually really good at math. And on top of that, before he left public school in the standardized testing, that uh, he scored way up in like, the 98th percentile, like his test scores were through the roof. His teacher had a conference with us and she was like, I'm literally blown away. He's like first grade reading at a fourth grade level. His math was like off the charts. So I just want to keep him improving. The kid is like too smart for his own britches, you know, but, um, and so I just want to make sure that I keep that, that I keep him at a level that's here. I know in his reading class, um, she had to go to the library and get a lot of like extra books for him because there was nothing in the classroom like that was his level He was already blowing through those books inside of the classroom So just want to make sure that I keep him above the level that he's at or right at it tracking to move forward as opposed to like Reducing his workload down to something that he already knows his attention is really really short so we have time blocks that we have to do things in and I want to make sure that his time block is encouraging him and keeping him um you know just keeping his mind busy where he's not bored where he's not getting bored easily and where he's not finishing the work like way way too fast so then the next thing I picked up was these clipboards and I actually saw this on a YouTube video and she used clear clipboards because it was easy to tape their schedule and stuff to the back and they can just use the dry erase marker to go over the top of that and that wipes off really easily so I picked up two of these, one for Preston and one for Penelope. Inside of this bag is just a ton more of the supplies that we'll need. I don't want anybody telling me that they don't have their supplies. We've got plenty of pens, we've got plenty of glue, we've got plenty of color pencils, we've got plenty of crayons, we've got index cards, and then lastly, um, for me anyways, I have no idea what this smells like. I usually get the Hawaiian Breeze. Literally, that's the only plugins that I use, but they haven't had Hawaiian Breeze the last two times I went to Walmart. So I tried one last month and then it's running out. So I have no idea. They don't even have the little scratch and sniffy thing on here. So I really hope that that smells good. It looks like it's gonna smell good. And then last but not least for the school stuff, I'm actually really excited about this. I got a teacher planner for myself. Um, and let's hope that I actually use it. <laughs> but I appreciated that it had like the different schedules in here. Um, 
volunteer stuff, of course, like personal events. It's got a space for lists. Um, I liked that there was this uh, sheet in here, but I really liked that they had this checklist because I feel like I would like to keep my attendance log in here. So that part was pretty much the seller for me because I was gonna be making some sort of attendance log on Canva, but um, perhaps if I can keep it in here, then that would more or less be a better option for me. Um, and then it just comes into the week and then what's going on in each class to be able to fill it in like that. So um, hopefully this is a good resource for myself. I'm actually really excited about it. We have a ton, ton, ton of books. So our library is filled. I'll be seeing about going to get some library cards here pretty soon so that we can also check out books from the library for like reading materials and stuff. But I think we're off to a pretty good start with getting stuff set up for homeschool. And I just wanna make sure that everything is like done right and intact this year on my end. I feel like towards the end of last year, we got a little bit laxed and I don't want that to happen again. So hopefully I can alleviate that by at least making sure that I've got everything that we need organized and that we have all of the supplies, all the curriculums and all of the stuff that we're gonna need so that the kids are set up for success. And then also so that mom is set up for success too because I don't wanna be having any breakdowns pretty sure I had like several breakdowns last school year. <laughs> I don't think I like that at all. I just plugged in the new um, air fresheners, the champagne cheer. I don't think I like that at all. It smells like a drunk person. Like it, it almost actually smells like champagne. Ugh, I think it got on my hand. I don't know if I like that. Anyways, I plugged it in. I'm gonna let it start to circulate and do its thing around the room and then I'll go out and maybe come back in and see if I can gauge like how it actually smells, but coming straight out the, oh God, no, that smells like. <laughs> Thanks for hanging.